Hey guys, this is Bianca Andrescu. Welcome to The Slice. Bianca Andrescu on The Slice, welcome. Thank you for having me. No problem. Canadians, every tennis fan around the world, we're all interested. You know, it's been a while since we've seen you on court, so how are you? How are things going for you? It's been really great, a bit challenging at first. The first couple of months of me not doing anything were kind of rough because I didn't know what to do with my life because I always had tennis in the back of my head. Um, but you know, I had great people around me to tell me, oh look, like maybe you should do this, you should try this. So I tried different things actually. I did some martial arts, I took some dance lessons, which I love. Um, I traveled a bit around the world. I spent as much time as I can, you know, with my family and friends because on tour it's not always the easiest thing to do. So I kind of got a bit of everything um, and I'm just, you know, I kind of got sick of it and now I'm back. <laughs> now you're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, from your, you know, your Instagram post when you first said you're going to take some time off, did, did the COVID break and COVID in general, it's been crazy for everyone, but did it give you a perspective change on kind of work-life balance at all? Yeah, I definitely think so. I felt like, um, at least in the beginning of the pandemic, um, I didn't know what to do uh, because I was in Canada. They didn't have anything opened. Um, and honestly, I didn't play anything in 2020 because right when Indian Wells hit, I was ready to play because I was just coming back from an injury. And then, you know, it was kind of like the world shut down. Um, but during those times, I really tried to figure out what I can do to, you know, slow down, but at the same time, excel in my career. Uh, because the time off, I think, really, really helped me. Um, so it's kind of like trying to find that good balance. I think it's different for everyone, but I think I found mine. That's awesome. That's so great to hear. BB's Got Game. It's your book. Yeah. What inspired you to write that? Or do you do you write a picture book or do you draw a picture book? That's the other question. <laughs> Good question. I had ghostwriters help me out with that because I did not know anything about it. But the way it kind of all started was actually um, a couple of years ago, I remember I had a dream that I did write my own book. And I remember talking to my mom about it. And my mom's like, yeah, why not? But at the time, I didn't have much to write about. So my mom's like, okay, let's wait a bit. Because um, at the time, I, I knew that I wanted to pursue my career. And then, you know, three years, four years later, I ended up winning the US Open. And then even after that, a lot has happened. And um, I kind of wanted to start with a children's book um, to just share my story in a way, but so it could be also more universal so that other people can relate as well. And it was kind of like a story, but also I had a good message in there that I wanted to really pinpoint for others. So I'm hoping that not only children can take something out of the book, but also, you know, the adults that maybe read to the children or, I don't know, maybe even the adults will buy their own book and get something out of it. That's my goal. I think a lot of adults <laughs> will. Maybe a little career after tennis and as a writer. Who knows? Who knows? Always a possibility. And it's been about, am I right, six months since you've played on tour. Yes. In Indian Wells. Um, long time off, but we just saw Rafa Nadal six months off come back when the Australian Open. So... Do you Very draw true. any inspiration from the old Matador uh, <laughs> coming back off an injury timeout? Yeah, for sure. Um, all these tennis players, you know, that take a break and then they come back, no matter if they win or lose, to me is an inspiration because it's not always easy. Either if it's, you know, for me, I took like a mental break or for others, it was injury. Uh, I've kind of been in that position already, so I kind of know in a way what to expect. Um, but definitely, I don't want to put that pressure on me. <laughs> like, you know, Nadal came back, won the Australian Open. I mean, it would be nice. Yeah. But I just want to take it step by step. That's, that's good. <laughs> Last thing, we're using our uh, tennis handle racket mics. Yeah. Have you ever, what do you think about them? Have you ever used a leather grip? I've actually never used a leather grip. I think this is very innovative. And I respect you for this. Very interesting. <laughs> right on. Okay, well, this has been Bianca Andrescu on The Slice. Thanks for being on. Thank you for having me.